The Earth has already been through six Miyake events, and we know that the next one could be devastating to human life on Earth. Unfortunately, we're due for one of these cosmic events to happen sooner rather than later, but scientists still don't know how they occur, or how to stop them. Uncover more secrets of the universe by clicking like, subscribe, and hitting the bell icon so that you don't miss what we find next. This is Over Orbit Plus. The Carrington Event The most powerful geomagnetic storm in recorded history. In September of 1859, telegraph systems all across Europe and North America failed inexplicably. Telegraph pylons threw sparks, and telegraph operators received electric shocks. The mayhem continued to unfold as painfully bright auroras turned the night to day. To those living in the era, it were as though the world were ending, seemingly without reason. An event of this magnitude could be catastrophic in today's technologically dependent society. But the Carrington event was only a geomagnetic storm, not a Miyake event. The difference? The Miyake storm of 774 CE was 10 times more powerful. A Miyake event is no simple geomagnetic storm. It is most easily described as cosmic radiation bombardment. You see, as particles enter Earth's atmosphere, they undergo a change in chemical composition. As the charged cosmic particles interact with the abundance of nitrogen atoms in Earth's atmosphere, they can be converted into an isotope of carbon. In the upper atmosphere, as cosmic rays collide with nitrogen atoms, a nuclear reaction takes place, producing radioactive carbon-14. If we don't know what causes these Miyake events, how exactly do we know they occurred? As the radioactive carbon-14 is filtered through the air, it enters our oceans, flora, and fauna, producing an annual record of radiation in tree rings. This radioactive carbon, when put into comparison to naturally occurring carbon, is quite rare. When studying tree rings, scientists are able to connect these spikes of radioactive carbon, neatly timelining radiation storms that occurred thousands of years in the past. We know that the Miyake event of 774 CE occurred just months before our sun entered the maxima of solar cycle 10. Could this be a correlation? A study of the same event revealed inconsistencies. In some areas, the radiocarbon spiked for only a singular year, while in other areas, the spike lasted two to three years. This would suggest a source other than the sun. Could this be a supernova? But then, some supernovas occur without radiation. And, radiation of supernova magnitude has been found with a supernova conspicuously absent. Perhaps then, some events may be related to superflares from M dwarf stars. We know how to observe these Miyake events of Earth's past, and we understand what they are, and yet we still have no firm idea as to how they form. As the year 2025 looms ever closer, the need to understand the exact trigger for a Miyake event becomes frighteningly acute. It is during this time that the sun will approach the peak of its cycle. Geomagnetic and radiation storms will become more frequent in tandem with solar flares, and should these spikes of alarming solar activity be a key component in the forming of a Miyake event, Earth will see devastating consequences. Internet, infrastructure, phone lines, and power lines could all be heavily affected. With radiation of this strength, those in air travel could be exposed to lethal amounts of radiation causing even further casualties should air traffic begin to fail en route. The race to understand the exact cause of Miyake events will continue. Once we understand their cause, we can predict them, saving humanity from facing disastrous consequences. Join us next time as we continue to uncover the mysteries of the cosmos. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you don't miss a thing.